Hi, and welcome to Lix. My name's Alfie, I'm one of Lix's co-founders, and I'm gonna quickly walk you through how to get started with Lix. We're going to install the extension, use the toolbar, and complete your first ever export. Now, if you've just signed up, you're probably gonna see me on this page here. This is your dashboard. You may even be watching me in this video box right here. If you scroll down just a little further, here are the steps that you need to get started. We're gonna go through those one by one. The first step for me is to install the extension. Uh, Lix has, has accurately worked out that I'm on the Chrome browser. Um, if you're on a different browser, you can select it here and the steps will be fairly similar, but slightly different. So we're gonna head over to the Chrome store and we're gonna install the Lix toolbar. We're gonna click on add to Chrome. Again, if you're on Edge or Firefox, this will look fairly similar. Um, so make sure that you add and accept. And then once that has been added, we're gonna go into our extensions and we're gonna pin it so that we can see it up there at all times. Okay, so that's step one completed. Easy, right? Now we need to head over to LinkedIn. All of Lix's exporting happens inside LinkedIn. The LinkedIn search is so powerful it doesn't make sense to you know perform the search on our site then have us go and do it for you let's use the power of linkedin's uh, filters so i'm going to export a people search we can export people companies jobs there are more export types coming soon um, we're going to go for a people search so if i am looking to hire developers for my company for example i might head up to the search bar here and type in developer and then I get to choose from some of the filters. So I'm gonna go for people. Again, we could search for jobs or, or companies. I'm gonna search for people. And what does that come back with? That comes with comes back with uh, uh, just over eight million results. So we're gonna to need to filter those down somewhat. So let's go for locations, United Kingdom. And even further, current company, let's go for Google. So let's see people who work have worked at Google. Excellent. Okay, so now this is done, you can see that the Lix extension in the corner here is glowing. That means that we're on a page that is able to be exported by Lix. So we're going to hit that there, and that's going to cause the Lix toolbar to come down. When the toolbar pops up, we're going to choose the options. I'm going to talk you through those, and then we're going to export, and we're going to look at the data that we get from the Lix export. Okay, so the options here are export file. We can either have an Excel or a CSV file. A project, so I'm not gonna use a project right now, but a project is a really useful tool. You can put multiple exports into one list and we will deduplicate it for you. So if I'm looking for JavaScript developers and PHP developers, well, some people might cross over and be in both brackets. So what I can do is put those into a list and it'll be deduplicated. This is also really useful if you have a team of people using Lix, like a sales team, uh, and you don't wanna be contacting the same person twice, put it into a project and we'll deduplicate it for you. A number of profiles, that's how many profiles you're gonna export. Uh, I'm gonna go for 10 because this is just a demo that will be set by your limit so if you're on the free package if you've just started and you're trying licks out you'll have up to a thousand uh, profiles you can export and up to 50 emails that leads us on to the generate emails toggle we're going to hit that that's going to our machine uh, allow our machine learning algorithm to try and work out what the best possible email address for that person is and test it out and it's going to spit it out into uh, a neat file for you to reach out and email that person if that's what you want to do view profiles is slightly different if you are not using up your um you know, your, your page view limit for LinkedIn uh, on exporting emails or search data, you can set it to view profiles and it will go through the people in the list and look at their profiles and it will send them a notification to say, hey, this person looked at your profile. They might come back and look at you and we can, you know, initiate a conversation that way. This is something our power users use to make sure that they're getting the most out of Licks on the days when they're not exporting. So we have all of our uh, setup here. Let's hit the Lixit button and we're going to process that data. Now that's finished, you'll see that this button here has popped up, download results. We're gonna download those results and take a look at what we've got. This is your exported document. As you can see, it's got the ID, LinkedIn name, first name, last name, email description. It's pulled so much great data from that page. You can do this up to about 10,000 rows of data per day, depending on which account you are on. Um, so obviously this is a really powerful tool for lead generation, data scraping, whatever it is that you need to do. So. That's how to use Lix in a nutshell. I'm gonna very quickly show you a few things on your dashboard and then I'm gonna leave you to do your first ever export. Back in your dashboard now. So we have some guides to uh, some of the different things that you can do with Lix. If you ever have any questions or queries or you've got a problem, you can hit this purple button here um, and you can talk to us on live chat. You might even talk to me. 
Um, your projects, as we spoke about earlier, will be in here. Enrichment is where you can enrich searches with full profile data. Your resources will give you some guides and knowledge base articles. And the roadmap is the roadmap of features we have coming up where you can suggest features and vote on them yourselves and vote for the feature that you want us to build next. So that is a whistle stop tour of Lix. Again, we are around anytime if you need any help. My name is Alfie. I'm one of the co-founders here. If you have any questions, you can comment on this video, chat to me on live chat, send me an email, alfie at lixit.com, whatever it happens to be. Happy Lixin and good luck.